what's up guys it's your girl jojo back at it again with another video if you're new here hi i post beauty fashion and tips every tuesday and friday on my channel and if you want to see more you know subscribe click that bell and yeah let's get it going so today as you can see i have a bonnet on because <sighs> as you can see from the title of this video i will be showing you my wash routine for my natural 4c hair i just took my twist out so my hair is a mess y'all thought <laughs> but seriously though my hair is a mess this is my natural 4c hair oh my god what is that um as i said i just i took it out of the twist yesterday so it's been in the cap for a while um but yeah i'm about to show you guys my wash routine and my styling for it because i'm doing a new style so yeah okay so my shower is pretty low so basically i just wet my hair to start you can see my curl pattern coming in there to clutch we have the shea moisture I don't know how to pronounce that. I don't even want to try. Um, but it's low porosity protein free shampoo, and I just recently got it because um, I watched the channel and she said to try out for four C here, and it's actually been working for me. First, I'm gonna put this in, and then I'm gonna part my hair and start to be tangled. Do not raise your water guys. So now I am going to start detangling from the back and I use my fingers to do this. shampoo again because I do two shampoos three if it's really dirty um, but I'm doing two and then I'll come back when I'm conditioning okay so now I'm going to go in with this conditioner that matches to the shampoo Okay you guys, so welcome to a different side of my room. I'm finished and I have my hair up in to the hair towel. So I am about to blow dry my hair. Okay guys, so here we have the fully dried hair. It didn't take me too long, probably like five to 10 minutes. Now I am going to style it how I usually would. And then I'm gonna show you what I wear to bed. No, I'm gonna show you that no. Um, I use satin caps. No, this material, these are really big ones. They have the jumbo ones for people who have obviously thick afros. Um, they're really good. 
I also got this I have a memory loss guys like what do I <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? I'm a little messed up. Okay guys, so now we're gonna get to the styling part. Always remember to moisturize your hair. Um, for my black girls, I suggest a good grease. Um, and to moisturize your hair, keep it in a protective style. And moisturize your hair at least every day. And if you can't do it every day, probably twice, two to three times a week. So now, I use Blue Magic Coconut Oil Hair Conditioner um, to moisturize my hair. I use it as a grease, and this is a really good grease. It smells so good. And I usually just part my hair, and I put it in the section. If you're like me and you do not like to go through that long process, especially when you're not braiding your hair, I suggest getting a oil. Um, I have many of these. I have tea tree oil, coconut oil, jojoba oil, or jojoba oil, however you pronounce it. Um, I have shea butter oil, and this is vitamin E oil. Um, and it's supposed to strengthen your hair. And it has a little nozzle um, that you can just do that, squeeze it in. Okay, so now, what I like to do for my natural hair, when I'm styling it, I take a shoelace or I know um, if you have a stretchier band like this, it can work, but I like a bigger poof. So I take the lace and I put it under. Take it, tie it, and then you do the process of pushing it back. You can take this back as far as you like. I usually can leave it like this, or I take it a step back. I'll do it like this. Um, it can do high puffs or low puffs, whatever you feel like. But usually with this method, I do a puff like this. Hide the lace. So, in to style my hair and keep those flyers from staying up here to keep it neat, I use this shine and jam. So, I'm gonna take the bigger one and try to grab as much hair as I can. I have this hair right here and it is basically a bun tie. So now we're going to take the grease and we're gonna place it at the front just so you can get a clean. My head is so deformed, I can't. But once I do this, it makes it easier for me to take this out and stretch my hair back further into the 
sweater this part won't appear as much of a as a lump as it was okay so now there's much of a clear difference um look at that split but we take this up so we have the band you have the band of the elastic and you take it you figure out which side you're putting at the back so i want this part not to show because it's more um frizzy soiled okay so no this is the hair Time to tackle these non-existent edges. Same fill and jam. Anyways guys, that's it for today's video um, on how to wash and style 4C hair. If you want more tips from a natural hair girl, just let me know. Um, I was planning on doing some more videos on it because I actually kind of like it. Um, but yeah, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.